Hello everyone, welcome to Representing Patterns on Graphs. Today we will be teaching you how to represent patterns on a graph. It's as simple as it sounds. Okay, so we're going to lay out coordinates on a graph, and as you can see, there's an obvious pattern. It increased by one every time. This is going to be our first example. Okay, so now we're on to example two. So this is a kid named Advil, and he's having a birthday party. At first, the table can hold eight seats with three on each side and two at the ends. However, when you add more tables, it stops, and you can only add six at a time. So that's why it starts off with one, but then it, it starts off with one and eight, and increases by six every time. That creates a disturbance in the pattern, which you can clearly see below. So, yeah, Adam gets to have a fun party. Yes! Let's move on to example number three. Here, I will be teaching you how to graph an absolute value equation. So now we have a table laid out for you. Right here. And the graph of this table is drawn next to it. Please take note of that. So now, we need to find the equation of the graph. Okay? And hopefully you know a bit about absolute value equations. So, when there's an absolute value equation, we have to find the opposite of the x if it's a negative. Right? If it's, n if it's a positive, we just leave it alone. So, when it says negative 6 for x and 6 for y, it, we're using this equation here. y equals absolute value of x. This is the parent function for each and every absolute value equation. Okay? On the graph, we only go up to negative 2. But you can see that ne when it's negative 2, we go 2. And when it's positive 2, we also go 2 for the y2. Now, another question here is find y when x equals 6. That's simple. Because 6 is positive. So the absolute value of 6 would not be negative 6. It would be 6. So we're on to the next question. Billy and his family are driving 40 miles per hour for 6 hours, right? Make the chart and graph representing the speed and distance. How much distance have they covered after 6 hours? So there are two, well actually three parts to this problem. First we will make a table, right? So, yeah. When x equals 1, y equals 40. Because in one hour, they drive 40. Because in one hour, they're going 40 miles. Okay? So now let's draw a graph for this. The graph looks like this. Ready? Here. And so using the graph, well and the table, we know that they have covered 240 miles in 6 hours. Because each shows a pattern. Every hour, they drive 40 miles. And we can see this using the graph, right? So, in 6 hours, that's great. Now, you can try it by yourself. Graph the coordinates in the table above.
Your graph should look something like this. The coordinates are shown here. 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 7, and 5, 10. This is another example that you can try by yourself. It is an in independent example. For this graph, find the, ta the table of table of coordinates, or or make a chart for for this graph. The, the coordinates are these are the coordinates. This is how your table should look like. The coordinates are for x negative one, for y negative two, zero zero, one two, two two, three two, and four six. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, yeah. woo! See you later, yep. alligator.